are. We are just touring the show floor, the expo floor here at RSA 2022. Thought we'd bring everyone along. So if you've got a VR headset, you can, put, you can actually put it on and check this out. If you're not watching from a VR headset, there's still controls inside of YouTube, so you can move the camera around and get that 360 view. So this should be fun. Yeah, and so to your left is looks like the Sentinel One Formula One Austin Martin Take a look over, there. over there, which is pretty darn cool. Cognizant. Always amazed by these. Uh, look at the tires. That is uh... no no tread needed on that tire. Just just a lot of flat rubber. Slicks Pirellis. What do these do, like two, well I know they generally race around 100, 200 miles an hour, but I think their top speed's what, like 240, 260 or something? Yeah, that sounds, uh, sounds far quicker than I'd want to go, I think. Maybe in a straight line, in a car. I guess we feel comfortable doing that in other types of vehicles, but in a car, that'd be uh, pretty intense. Yeah, and, and maybe have a actual professional driver who knows how to take turns at 170 might be the best way to go. Because yeah. we forget, right? You forget, like, yeah, we'll go 80 and be like, woohoo! But when you double that, triple it, yeah. it'll really pin you. Oh, totally. Especially feeling the road and stuff and one pothole and who yep. knows what's going to happen. I think it was uh, one of the Andretti's, I think it was one of the Andretti's years ago said the, that the, the best way to... I don't know if it's a sports car, but you should never feel, especially in a manual transmission, you never feel the gear shift, that it's smooth, even with the clutch going. Really? That's really? I guess, uh, yeah. Your... Hey, look what's up on the screen. Oh, wow. Yeah, so if you're, if, depending on the way you're turning around, you should turn over at the screen that we're staring at right now. Well, it's gone away now, but one of our F5 banners was up there. We'll pull it out for you. <laughs> oh, no skateboarding. No skateboarding. <laughs> Probably no uh, Segway hoverboard scooter things either, eh? Hey? Yeah, no. So we just crossed over. We're actually crossing over under Howard Street. They never had this connected before, but now they've connected the North and South Halls as RSA Conference has grown over the years. The North Hall is considered, I don't know, maybe the, the you know, the best hall, like, like the Northern Hemisphere, woohoo, the best hemisphere there is, so. It really opens up, opens up once you get in here too, hey, compared yeah. to the other side. Of course, RSA has, you know, the crown spot right as we walk in. Should we loop around a little bit this way and then uh, find our way at 5771 after? Why not? You know, I'm debating, so we can either do this kind of talking through and, and narrating, but Vin Scully used to always say, or he would always be quiet during the big moments of Dodger games and just let the audience take in the crowd, the feel, the excitement. You know, it's also interesting over the last, probably right five to 10 years as cloud has exploded, you know, there used to be this, oh, they're the competition. Oh, they're the competition. But now, you know, customers don't care if you're the competition at all. We're all kind of work, we should be at least, you know, working together. And there are a number of partnerships where, you know, back in the day, you'd never think F5 would partner, say, with Cisco, but you know, we're partners, and that's the way it is. You know what, they do things that are very, very good um, and, and helpful for us, and likewise, I think they appreciate a lot of things that we do. And really, it's decided by the customers in the end. Like, if a customer has two different solutions, I've been in lots of meetings where they're like, you guys just need to figure out ways to work together so we can get the most value out of both of you. 
Yeah, I remember back in the day they would be like, they're like, it's the network, it's the network, and we'd be like, no, it's the application, it's the application, and as it turns out, we were both right. <laughs> exactly. Wow, look, we found our way to 5771 now. And uh, it's one of the boost talks that is going on. We got Jay Kelly, I think he's talking about zero trust right now. I don't know, I, I, yeah. I was going to make a zero trust joke, but it just didn't come out. That's all good. There will be lots of jokes throughout the week, I'm sure. Good, uh, good little crowd here, though. They're claiming their F5 shirts. Good to see. Should we take a look? Oh, their lock picking's happening right now, actually. Yeah, let's go check that out. Should we have them do give a little? Uh... Hello. Hi. Good. Thanks. We're from F5, and we're just filming some stuff. Okay. And so, I see that. you guys That's have awesome. any stuff going on that we might build a show? Yeah. So we have um, lock picking. So what we're doing is we're giving away some sets. Let folks come on over and try their hand at lock picking. You know, great tie-ins with physical security and digital security. You know, they go side by side. So. Um, hoping to get some folks some new skills. Cool. Is everybody <laughs> able to do it, or you know, it, I'll be honest. It takes some. You know, it, it's. I think it's more easy than most people think it is. Yeah. Um, but you know, you got to have a little bit of coordination <laughs> going on. Okay. Can I give it a try? You absolutely can. I was waiting for you to ask. <laughs> There. All right, okay, you got to set there that. Go. Is there a timer or anything? Like he's got to do this in 60 seconds. <laughs> to start off easy. If you'd like to set your watch for any kind of, you know, feel free, but right. I'm, I'm, I won't certainly want well, to. Are there any glasses camera. for this? Like, is yeah. eyesight important or you it's know, more feel? It's more feel auditory. I know there's a lot of auditory stimulus in here, but um, it's mostly feel. All right, so I'm just going to turn this down for the moment. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't mind if we... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little, little competing. Well, just, you know what I mean. You probably yeah. see enough time so you can recount it for other people. Oh, I can just stand here and do the presentation myself, I think. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll do a little play-by-play -play here. Yeah, all right. So go ahead and open up your kit there. You got three tools in there, and I want you to grab this one first. This is your turning tool. And I'm going to ask you, are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. Okay, I'm going to make my job easy. Perfect. I'm going to start you out on that lock, and we're going to... Look, take a look at the front of it. Make sure it's locked there. Perfect. And we're gonna Okay, take so make sure it's locked. How how would you identify it that it was locked? We're gonna give it a little like okay. twist there and it's Got not it. moving. So, I see. Uh, we're gonna take the short end of this turning yep. tool and stick it right at the bottom of the keyway. <laughs> Fail already, but no, that's no, you're okay. Good, you're good. Okay. So then I like to give it the, the lobster pinch so that my index finger can be pushing down and you want this all in your left hand okay. there you go and then right that that index finger is just going to be pushing so there's two things we want to do here we want to be giving some rotation and we're going to lift the pins on the inside of the lock here because on the inside there's all these pins and we're going to be taking our hook tool and we're just going to be pushing them up on the inside. Okay. And they're right up close to the front there. So and I kind of understand like the whole entire concept yeah, because right, right. each of them has their spot and it either and is in or out right and you're just sort of popping them all exactly. so that they come back in. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So go ahead and take your hook tool. And let's start the clock. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tick tock. Yeah. I'm going to use this one because I... I I've lost my other one, but yeah, go ahead and take that. You're going to use the tip yep. of that, and it's going to be. We, we can do the play by play for this, Peter. All right, okay. All right, step yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, he's, look, he's looking for it. Oh, he's got one already. This. I, 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 I think that. There's been some experience he's, before. Yeah, he's, he's, he's no. also, you know, a lock picker would <laughs> never <God>. lie. <laughs> he's, no. he's also a magician. Okay. <laughs> You've done two. Yeah. So that has two pins in it. So the idea here, 
right? You find the one with three pins, four pins, five pins. You work your way up. Most common household front doors, five or six pins. So the idea is, right, you want to work your way up to kind of real world locks. So there's a three pin for you. And we have all different ones here. And then once you get comfortable with this, uh, we have a couple of like uh, challenges. So we have a master lock and a lockout box, a fire safe and a, a replica of what a front door, you know, a deadbolt and a key knob. So. I will not confirm or deny, but that looks a little similar to my home safe. There we go. Oh, wow. Flying through, uh, yeah. flying through. So, Let me make sure I hide my safe from Peter. One, yeah. We say that the fire safes, they re they're really there to protect against the fire, not so much the safe right. part. Uh, right. <laughs> you know what, I'm just going to go for the five pin and see what happens. See what happens. Do it. I like it. Getting cocky. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, it's just, you know, you just need that confidence and that's what it is. There's no time on a Okay, we got that okay, part. Okay, and you got your turning pressure and your hook tool. That's the biggest challenge, just getting the pressure the right one, because you can you can uh, jam the, the the tumblers just by pushing a little bit too hard with that. That's what I find is the the real challenge. Yeah, it's a balance between it, too much and too little. And too little, yeah. I call yeah. it three butterfly kisses worth. So oh, you're familiar okay. with that okay. metric. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, Two shakes of a lamb's tail yep, and butterfly exactly, kisses. Exactly. Right. Depends on which you know, yeah, part whether, of the world you're from. Yeah, whether you're, that's you're, what they say in Texas, I think. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, this one is proving a little more challenging. So, you know, I would say that there's a wall at like four pins, you know, right. the two and three. Because I can get it through and it seems like... Yeah, I mean, all of a sudden, right, you're dealing with four individual pins that you've got to get up to the right height and the right place. It, it, the other thing that you can do is instead of trying to lift them up one by one with this tool, is taking your rake tool. Okay, I haven't used this tool okay, yet. Yeah. So. so let's let's so same thing, right? Light pressure on there, and all you're doing with the rake tool is you're you're kind of bouncing those pins in there. And you want to do this kind of like I'll do it on the side here. It's just kind of back and forth motion. If you've ever heard or used like monkey, snap pick, pick guns, this is the kind of technique that this is the uh, you know for to, for the digital side. This is the brute force fuzzing the lock, right? Uh, Where, right so versus you're... an intelligence-based attack, right? Does, <laughs> it's all the layers fuzzing, of does the term fuzzing come from this? I, I, uh, so I, I think I took it from yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like I'm like, got them all, like I feel like they're all... They're all... So what can happen is something called overset, right? So similarly, if you push too hard on here, mm. Um, you can get the whole pin stack kind of jammed up in there and then it doesn't want to open. So if you feel like it's everything should be up but it doesn't want to, I say kind of let go, let everything drop back uh, down. Okay. If you want kind of a fun one though, I would say try that fire safe. It, it's, it's not as intimidating as it, the, the black one in the middle there. Try that. You Usually, you know, if you kind of get a, a good rake going on there, at some point we have a... We, you know, we go over to DEF CON and we have one of those and you open it up and we have stacks of fake hundreds oh, yeah. <laughs> in there. Nice touch. We, we didn't bring it for this uh, yeah. one, though. That's always a fun one to see That's people's awesome. faces. <laughs> We'd have like Dev Central stickers because yeah. you know they're really exactly. they need to be protected. Right? We, don't so. get, we don't just give those away. Exactly. Right. Well, unless you're a Dev Central member. Yes. I think I got it. Hey! hey. hey. Yeah. Uh, you want a shirt? <laughs> yeah, you get another another F5 shirt. Yeah. This is cool. Go. Right yeah. on. That's awesome. Yeah, and we you know love doing this because there's like so many parallels between digital and physical security and um, I, I think. Security often gets the short end of the stick. It's like this the old school, you know, analog thing that nobody wants no, to do. It's with, still pretty it's, important. It's very, very important. important. If your server oh, room totally. has a forty dollar Home Depot lock yeah. on it, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> no wow, thank you. Good point. Good yeah. Point. So, cool. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, well thank so you you're with. Like, I'm I'm from Lockpick Extreme. Uh, you know, Lockpick Extreme. We do workshops um, for just this teaching, show, spreading the love of. Lock picking. It started as a hobby for me like a decade ago, and I just love teaching people how to pick locks. Cool. So that's how I ended up here. So, how do people find you on the web? 
lockpickextreme.com. Perfect. And do you have any uh, social accounts like on Twitter? Yep, we're all connected on there. We're on Twitter, Instagram, all the usual fun Perfect. stuff. <laughs> Very cool. Check yeah. them out. Awesome. That was fun. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Thank you so much.